Mom said she wanted to talk to me. So what is it? What did you want to talk to me about, Anthony? What is it? And I'm getting really sick and tired of this family. I realized something. Ever since I was a kid, you hated me. But I never thought you would stoop to a level of having sex with my wife. How could you? How could you sleep with my wife? What type of man sleep with his brother's wife? Why am I even shocked my own father slept with my wife and gave her a child? This is always some twist in mind game shit. What? You thought I was gonna feel sorry for you because of what happened to you with that woman? So what do you want, Anthony? What do you want to talk to me about? You're just gonna stare at me? I'm sorry, Andy. I'm sorry about everything we do. I'm really, really sorry about all I'm gonna make you feel. Sorry. Are you really sorry though? I mean, you didn't come and tell me about it. You kept it to yourself. I know this don't really excuse for what I'm gonna do, but the night when it up and made it drunk. What? Is that supposed to make me feel better that you were drunk? Just admit it that you did it for a reason. Ever since, I can remember you hated me. Why did you hate me so much? It wasn't necessary hate. I was just jealous of you. Jealous of me for what? Before you did come, everything was just different. When it was just me, mommy and daddy, life did just feel good. I mean, we never really have much, but we never expect everything would have turned out the way it did. My honestly think everything was gonna be alright. Mommy and daddy always looked like them, they didn't love with each other. Nothing did seem out of place. But then everything changed when they decided to go migrate to Canada and them left me behind. Look how much years it took them to come for me. Look how much years passed while you were here with them. And? How was that my fault? You've been holding a grudge for me for something they did. Andy, I'm sorry, alright? I'm sorry for what I'm gonna do to you. I'm sorry. He will forgive you one day, Anthony. Don't worry about it. Well, we may try, but we just, we can't fix everything. I mean, just, everything, well, go on with you, maybe you want to make sure everybody good. But I'm really freak out, mommy. I'm, I'm really, I look into myself, boy. Everything I'm doing in life, I'm just want to make everything better. I just want to change and do everything I can for everybody. Anthony, you can't change everything overnight. Just work upon things little by little and it will work out. Didn't I tell you you were going to get better? And look. Tell mommy boy, no, you sick. You sick. Mama, you forget better, mommy. Mama, no, I have for dead, mommy. But I don't know if I can keep this secret fear for long. I don't know if I can wall it out. And I know. You can't do this for me, Anthony. I don't want everybody to know yet, alright? Don't worry about it. Everybody will be alright. Okay? Now stop crying. You'll be fine. You're a big strong man. I'ma love you. Alright son? I'ma love you more than anything in this world. You and your brother. I love you too, mommy. Just be strong for me. Alright, Anthony? Be strong for everybody. I'm moving out, and don't worry, I'll pay for everything. Oh my god, what do you mean you're moving out? What do you- Why would you move out? Oh, cut the bullshit with the crying. What do you mean, why am I moving out? You expect me to stay here and look at this kid? Andy, I made one mistake. You can forgive me for it, can't you? You made one mistake. You got pregnant for my father. That's not a mistake, that's a abomination. So where are you gonna go? To that whore's house? I know you're talking to her. Whore? You shouldn't even be calling anyone a whore after you slept with my father and my brother. You're a whore. I won't sit here and listen.
that you call me all type of names. I made a mistake. Why can't you stop? The only mistake here is marrying you. You disgust me. Don't you understand that? You're acting like you're so perfect, right? You think you're so perfect, Annie. Like you've never done anything in the world. I may not be perfect, but I've never slept with one of your family members. I told her I'm getting a divorce. I missed you. I missed you too, Andy. Oh my god, Olivia, you get so big. You look so different. Do I look better now, Mom? What type of question is that you're really asking me? You've always been beautiful, Olivia. I set up the room for you so you can stay over on weekends. Are you excited about it? Yeah. Is Diana gonna be there? And Oliver? I have so much questions I want to ask her. And she promised she was gonna teach me how to cane her the last time. I can't wait to see them. I miss them so much. But Mom, why did you cut your hair? I wanted a new look. Something different for once. And plus, I'm getting too old for the long hair thing. Mom, why are you avoiding the question that I'm... I've, is Diana and Oliver there? Why aren't you answering me? No, Olivia, they're not there. Oliver is with his father and Diana is... I don't know where she is, alright? Why are you... Why are you... Olivia... I brought you over for me and you to talk. I don't want to talk about your siblings, okay? I want to talk about me and you, all right? Why you always... Why can't... Why can't I talk about my siblings? Why are you always making everyone leave? You're always treating everybody so bad. Why do you always do it, Mom? Why do you hate Diana so much? What did she ever do to you? Who you think you talk to, Luca girl? I don't care if you want to get mad, Mom. I'm tired of you always ruining everything. I can't even see my brother and sister. I hate you.